So I did my brows off camera. Um, I'm going to first uh, put some lip balm on. I used the e.l.f. lip balm tint in the shade Nude. I'm going to prime my face with the Maybelline Master Prime. I used the Morning Burst Moisturizer first. How is everybody? Um, I'm doing okay this morning. Um, my baby is still at Grandma's for a week now. And I'm having like separation craziness. I miss her so much. She's one years old. Well, a year and four months. And she's walking and talking her language. <laughs> I just pretend to understand her. She's so much fun. I'm going to be using the Matte and Poreless by Maybelline. This is an awesome foundation. I shake that up. Um, I'm going to run some errands today. Um, my first stop is a uh, movie stop. I have to get my Fast and Furious comes out today. So I'm going to get that one. I seen it in the movies and it's absolutely amazing so I had to get the movie of course they're holding it for me so I'm not exactly rushing I'm going to prep my face first with the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus this is in the coconut just for a Refresher, I guess. Anyway, I'm super excited because I want to watch it again. Um, and I'm thinking about getting the Miley Cyrus um, new lipstick that came out. Has anyone bought it? Do you like it? <laughs> I have the first one of hers and... It is gorgeous. It was just a beautiful hot pink. And I love bright lipsticks. I just love it. And this one is like a um, orange color. So I'm going to go swatch it at MAC and see how it looks. See if I want to get it or not. I'm going to stop by... Uh, Bath and Body Works and my husband wants that Nor for men um, I got him the little antibacterial and he really liked it so he wanted me to go back and get the cologne for him so I might get some stuff I'm not sure I mean I don't have it very many fall scents so I might do that. Okay. So I'm going to set my face with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. And powder my face. Just around the perimeter. Did my eyebrows off cam. I just used the NYX Micro Pro, the the NYX Eyebrow Gel, my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Powder Duo in chocolate. And I just used the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush number 12 and a BH Cosmetics brush just to sculpt them out. Um, and the brush I use for foundation is the Real, Technique, Real Techniques brush um, sculpting brush. 
this is amazing i talked about it on my channel already it's amazing um i'm going to do my um concealer first i've been using the nyx dark circle concealer for under my eyes i have some real bad under eye bags <laughs> Did I just wrap? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to conceal this like that. You see the difference between this eye and this one? A huge difference. <laughs> but um, this stuff is amazing. Um, I got it at Ulta. Um, it wasn't really expensive either, so I think it's affordable concealer. For extra coverage, I like to use both of these. I'm going to be going in with the MAC uh, Studio Finish Concealer in NW25. Just for extra coverage. I don't know, I just, I just like to... Um, cover up my imperfections with this it's just really a really nice full coverage um, concealer also um, I don't think I have anything else to conceal um, so I'm going to go in with the Maybelline master conceal concealer this is comparable to the Mac Pro Longwear concealer um, this is amazing concealer I really highly recommend this is in the color light medium it's fantastic I mean I love this concealer so I'm just gonna take a little dab and dab it have you heard about Carly Babel Babel is that how you say your name um, YouTuber that I watch came out with her own palette. Ugh, that would be my dream to come out with my own palette. Ugh, I would be so thrilled. I mean, really. And she did it with BH Cosmetics. It's really super affordable. I believe it was like um, 12 bucks coming out. So I'm going to get it when it comes out again. Um... I'm not sure when it comes out because um, when it first came out it just was sold out out of stock so I'm gonna get it the second time I'm going to mix I mean spread out spread out let me call that. I'm going to blend my concealer with the Morphe G2 this is my go-to brush to do my concealer with I mean, this is just amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to get it the second time around. Um, I was on the fence about it at first because there's a lot of highlight shades in it. Um, but I like the shadows. Um, they're like, have some purple tones. I like purple um, eyeshadows. So, um going to give it a whirl if I can get my hands on it so I concealed my under eyes um, I'm gonna go in with the elf HD under eye setting powder this time I'm gonna do a video on how I bake my eyeshadow um, pretty soon maybe I'll do that tomorrow but um, I like to just put some in the cap and I use the Real Techniques setting brush. This is amazing for this. And I'm just going to swirl it all around in there. And just set my under eye. I look up so there's no creasing you have to deal with. Because that's a big issue if you not if you're looking straight ahead and you set your under eyes you're gonna get a crease what did you think about my last video <laughs> what was in my car I was like well I don't know just thought I'd do something different 
I think I saw two people do that video and I just thought it was pretty cool to try that. Um, so anyway, did that. So now I'm going to contour. I'm using the Bronze Goddess um, Estee Lauder and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. blending brush. This is amazing. This is an amazing brush to contour. It gives you the most natural contour ever. I just absolutely love it. Then I'm going to go in and start my eyes. And then I'm going to go in with a uh, prolonged wear paint pot in soft ochre. I just like to mix the two. I mean, it just seems to make my eyeshadow um, stay good all day without creasing. So I just like to mix the two for extra coverage, I guess, or staying power. I'm gonna go with the go in with the infallible endless pearl to set everything in place. Set my eyeshadow primer. Um, it just looks like that. I'm gonna go find a brush. I use the Wet n Wild brush. This is very inexpensive. You can find it at uh, Walmart. And it gets the whole entire eye. And I just love these brushes. Okay. So did you hear that... Um, Urban Decay is coming out with a waterline um, eye pencil. I'm super excited, but I'm not super excited to pay the price for it. It's like 20 bucks. Oh my gosh, but I'm hoping that it's worth buying. You know what I mean? I think I want to check out people's reviews on it first before buying something like that because... I would hate to buy it and it's a fail, you know what I mean? But um, I'm going to be going in with the Makeup Geek um, eyeshadows. These are amazing. I did a video on these. These are my baby. This is them right here. My favorites are, have to be, um, two, three, four, five shadows. These right here are amazing. This one, is, this one is Corrupt. This one is Shim Shimmer. This one is um, Creme Boulet. This one is Chickadee. And this one is Peach Smoothie. Those are my ultimate, ultimate favorite shadows of time. I mean, I swear I love those shadows so much. I'm going to go in with Peach Smoothie and Creme Boulet. Those are the best um, crease shades, transition shades. I just love Makeup Geek shadows. Oh my gosh. They are amazing. Um, cheaper than they are now. But um, the price went up, I believe. Which was sad. But it's okay. I mean, I'm still going to buy them. To make it more um, fall ish. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this color uh, by Makeup Geek um, Bitten. It's like a deep maroon color. Kind of a burgundy color and I'm going to put that in my crease. See that? It's beautiful. Beautiful. Um, I love fall colors. Oh my gosh, I'm a sucker for fall colors. Oh, I forgot to mention that I used Untamed. This is the full eyeshadow by Makeup Geek also. 
um, on the lid just to give it a little more yeah. I'm just gonna go in with a Sigma E40 and I'm just going to go around it so there's no harsh um, lines I'm going to finish the rest of my face I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush and I'm going to tap it on my cheeks I love these are just so easy to use see that such a beautiful color this one is called plum wine and I'm going to go in with my color mates um, blush in the shade marvelous I talked about this when I hauled it and I'm just using a Sedona I mean Sonia Kashuk brush in number 29. I always get them mixed up. Sedona Lace and Sonia Kashuk. I guess they're kind of close together. I don't know. The names. And they just pair so beautifully together. And I use the Maybelline Bouncy Blushes because it makes your blush last longer. Way longer. Because when I don't, I mean, we tend to touch our face a lot, but um, it just makes it last all day. So I really love that. Um, so that's the cheeks. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Uh, bronzer in Sun Kissed. This is my everyday um, highlight. It's a bronzer, but it's really light for a bronzer. I don't know why they call it that. This is in Sun Kissed. It's just an amazing everyday kind of glow. If you don't want just, you know, a harsh highlight, this is just my go to one. It's really pretty. And I'm just using a Sedona Lace uh, number one brush. And then um, I'm going to go in with the Rimmel um, 005 uh, Scandalize um, Waterproof Pencil. Um, just line my waterline. I just like to do that. It just makes them pop out more. Uh, so I just line my waterline with that. And... Um, I'm going to use the MAC Nylon Frost and I'm going to highlight under my brow bone and my inner corner um, of my eyes with this. It's my favorite go-to um, highlight for um, my eyes. I just It's such a beautiful color. Oh my gosh. I love it. And I'm going to do my brow bone. Just an amazing highlight. It's not even a highlight. It's just an eyeshadow. But it just gives you the most beautiful highlight glow. Um, for my lips, I'm going to go in with my Soar by MAC Lip Liner. And line my lips. I absolutely love this lip liner. And I'm going in with the lipstick, um, the Color Sensational Maybelline lipsticks. Um, these are the matte ones, the creamy mattes in the shade Touch of Spice. My absolute favorite lipstick. I love this lipstick. It's so gorgeous. And then I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and just set my face. This is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this. 